can usually I when I'm painting at home I have all my paints in a palette but to do the video it's pretty hard to keep moving your palette around and I'll make you dizzy so what I did is I took my tubes of paint and I just put a little drop in this little ceramic uh, container which works wonderful so the colors we're going to use today are dioxazine purple cadmium red uh, cadmium yellow primrose paints gray olive green and and a throne blue so a little bit of this came on the paper so you don't worry about it so remember how i said we want a paper to be moist so i'm spraying my paper again to make sure there's moisture in there because i want this paint to bleed and i'm gonna spray a little bit on my on my paints here in my little ceramic dish and if you live in the alabama area I found that little dish at Alabama Art Supply downtown and Falcon Art Supply in Montevallo has it also, but you can get it online at Jerry's or um, any of those places. So the idea is to take, start with your dioxazine purple and you want it as light as possible to start with. So see how much paint you have on there. What I want you to do is I want you to rub it against the side of the dish and just put a little bit of that color. That's even too strong. So what I do is I take my palette paper out and I put some on here until it's almost clear. And then I come in here and see how much lighter that is. And all I'm doing is dropping some of that purple onto my petals. And I'm not really covering it completely. Did you see that, that there's some white showing? That's, that's what you want. So less in this case, really, less, less, less is more. And I'm coming right in here and dropping some paint. I'm not painting, I'm just kind of tapping my brush and let my paint go wherever it wants. And here's another petal. And these flowers are usually, um, kind of lilac purpley color and they have a yellow center leave it to nature right to figure out a color wheel so i'm tapping on that and as you can see it's almost already looking like a batik right but i haven't used any wax at all and you don't have to cover everything this is very very loose so we're going to leave that alone for now and i'm going to put some water on here so that this can spread out a little bit because i don't want that straight line on there and I'm going to take a paper towel and just dab it a little bit. And every time I paint a little bit more, I'll keep dabbing it until that little mark is gone. So the center of the flower in here has some little white areas, but it has some little yellow areas also. So I'm going to take my primrose yellow and I'm going to put it on my palette. And again, the, the secret of this is to go very, very light and just drop your color in. I'm not painting and I'm moving around. So if I do my purple first, then I'm gonna do my yellow, then I'm gonna put a little yellow on my little um, stem here, and then I'm gonna come back to the purple. And this is pretty wet, so I'm not gonna keep adding water to this. And again, I'm gonna take my yellow and I'm just gonna drop some of that yellow on my stem just so that we have some color. And I'll put some little yellow on here too. Maybe we'll put another little, when that dries, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put another little petal there coming out or something and cover that up because that is bothering me. Okay, so now I go back to my purple and put it now, see how I went a little bit. Uh, let's see, make sure you can see it on the, and I put some color on my palette paper so that you could see it against my white paper because if not, you wouldn't be able to see anything. So here I went a little bit stronger and I'm gonna drop it closer to the center. Okay. And I'm gonna pick up a little bit more. See how easy this is? I mean, there is, re it, I just love this technique, it, it's just, it's, and if the paper lifts off, don't worry about it. It's part of the process. And I'm gonna put a little bit on here and a little bit more there. So as you can see, already it's starting to look like a batik, right? So now I'm gonna put some green 
on a stem and that green is olive green and see how I wet my paint, but then I pick it up and I put it on my palette paper and then just drop some of that color onto my little stem here. And sometimes you'll pick up little papers and stuff in your brush, so just pick them out and just spread it around. And I think this effect makes it look a little bit more natural. So if you like the video uh, that you're looking at, I have 70 other videos on my channel here. So take a look and a peek at some of the other videos. And I really, really would appreciate if you would subscribe because uh, it lets me know that people are actually watching uh, because we don't get paid for these videos. So if it's helping, great, I'll keep doing them. But if not, and if you leave me a comment, I would be glad with that too. So now if I kept putting purple on here, it would look like one big purple blah. So I'm going to take advantage of my Payne's Gray and I'm going to put it on my palette here. And this is pretty dark, right? And then I'm going to take my blue that is on this side that is pretty bright. Now, if I was to put this on here and this, it would just be a mess. But if I mix these two, what it does is it tones down a little bit that bright blue and it gives me a little shade, right? It makes my purple a little bit deeper. So I'm gonna put a little purple in here and a little bit more. So now I'm going to take this blue and watch. I'm gonna come in here and look at the difference now by just adding those couple of colors. And I'm just taking my paint from here. I'm not really painting, remember? I told you just put a couple of drops of that paint in here and let it be. This is supposed to be a more of an abstract look. So I don't want you to fill in, see how we have all this white here? I don't want you to think like, oh no, I have to fill in all that white. I, that's what I want. I want you to leave some white showing and then just come here. This is kind of like a fold. So I'm gonna make this a little darker and come here and center here, really dark. Okay, back here, really dark. And now you let it dry, okay? So the center of these flowers have like a little, um, kind of like a dark yellow brown color. So I'm gonna take a little bit of brown that I had on my little palette over here, only because I can't find my brown. And I'm gonna take it out of here and rub some on my palette here and put some water in it. And that's, and never go straight onto your painting. Rinse it off and then just pick up a little bit of this. And I'm just gonna drop some of that in the center here, just to make it a little tad darker and a little bit on the top here, okay. And I'm gonna go back to my little corner. This is good that this happened because then you'll know how to fix yours too. So when people think that I don't make mistakes, you are wrong, I do. So it's coming out pretty good. Keep pushing it out. And I'm just blotting my paper towel, see that? I'm not rubbing because I don't want my paint to come out, my paper. So now I want this to be a little bit darker so that there's a little contrast. So how would I do that? I'm gonna take my green, right? And I'm gonna dip a little bit of that blue into my green to make that green darker. You don't need a whole bunch of paint to, to make something really pretty. You can just use one, two, three, four, five colors and create an awesome work of art, okay? so. Here I got this again. Now look at the contrast between those two. That looks really good. And I'm gonna come here closer to the stem and I'm just tap, tap, tap my brush. 
picked up a little bit of that brown. And I'm liking, I'm liking the way it's looking. It's looking really good. In here, I want to leave some of the white showing because the flower really does have some white showing. So if you notice, now that this is kind of drying, even those little flecks of paper coming up gives it character. And it really looks like a batik. So if you wanted to make some of the petals a little bit darker, you can actually blow dry this completely and then spray it again and do it uh, all over. So I'm gonna take a minute to blow dry my um, flower here and let's see what happens when we do it dry and we put some more water on it. 